Okay, hi everybody. Uh, I know it was quiet for a while. I wanted to make sure it was recording. Okay, so I, I had done a previous video on the airbags underneath the S2 RV chassis, um, particularly the one on the Jayco Setica. Um, starting in late 2018, they switched from an M2 to a S2 RV chassis. And I was a little bit concerned because of the airbags uh, being deflated. Now, this one is deflated, and so is this one. It's deflated. Now, the reason for that, and I have been doing a lot of research online, is that when you put down the levelers on the RV, and you can see it up there in the front, I have the levelers down to level the RV it does an air dump it dumps all the air out of the airbags and the reason for that is because when these airbags are filled the RV sits high and there's a reason for that so um, not only that but the fact that it gives you a much smoother ride and I and I and I can attest to that because I owned a Class C without airbags. And now I own, of course, a Class C with airbags. And the difference is night and day. Now, that being said, the reason they dump, they do an air dump, is because when you go and level, you want the levelers to level the RV as low as possible to the ground. You do not do not want these levelers extended so far up that you're going to need an extra step to get into your RV because it'll be sitting so high. So you don't want that. So that's the reason for the, um, the dump, the air dump. Now, some RVs, especially the older ones, do not have this feature. I think this is a great feature that it does an automatic air dump. Now, I, I just love looking at all the mechanics of this RV. It's just unbelievable, and it's so beautiful. I mean, Freightliner really does a good job in um, the way they design this chassis. And, of course, this chassis is specifically built for an RV. That's why it's an S2 RV chassis. So um, hopefully I can be doing some more videos on um, all the mechanics down here because I am just enthralled by it. It's just amazing. It just amazes me, you know, what they've done. And all these tubings, you know, they're so neatly wrapped and they, they go down the the side of the frame is just amazing. And these frames are really beefy. I mean, they have to be. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Okay, I know I'm weird. <laughs> I'm a female just loving all the mechanics underneath this RV. But you know what? You have to get to know your chassis. Um, mainly because, like I said in my previous video, if something goes wrong, you are familiar how everything is supposed to be prior to that something going wrong. So if you go under your chassis and even videotaping everything, and later on, if something doesn't sound right, you can compare the videotape to, to a new videotape or pictures. And you know what's going on. So, and also check for leaks. You know, the, the worst thing that can happen to you, and I said this in my previous video, is being on a trip and having a breakdown. So, when you are familiar with your RV chassis and you know something um, is wrong before your trip, you have a chance to correct it so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, I am done. I just wanted to update that information for you because I know that it it was a concern for me. So I imagine those of you that watched the video, um, you know, you had some follow-up questions as well. Okay, everybody, enjoy the uh, 
journey because remember it's not about the destination it's about what happens before you get there okay thanks for watching subscribe to my channel give me a like and see you on the road everybody bye